it comes a time in a man's life where he wants to do an impressionable thing with the woman he's with and decide whether he wants to get married or not. And I know this day and age, the climate is different. Men are actually pulling back out of marriage. Men are saying, what's in it for me? And they're reevaluating their choices. A lot of them already feel like, you know, if I'm going to be in a relationship with a woman, I can be able to have the benefits of marriage without actually being married to her. Or I can have the benefits of being in a relationship without actually being in a relationship with that woman. See, funny thing about it is, I am one that not to tell men you should not get married. I'm one that says to men, it is up to you because you are the one, you are the captain of your own ship. You are the one that decides whether you want to deal with a woman forever or as time goes on for a long-term marriage or that long-term relationship with a ring and how it's going to play out. Because now you're under the woman's control when it comes to marriage. You are not the captain of your own ship. And it's not even about you anymore in your life. You have to consider somebody else. Obviously, when it comes to relationships as well, but the freedom becomes less and less and less when you are married and when you are a man and you're married to a woman. Now what I think about it is this. This video that I'm going to be going over today is about a situation with a woman who is in her early 40s, already has two children, and a man who's in his early 30s who wants to have children with that woman. But in my understanding of this whole entire video, there has been telltale signs that these two are not compatible. They are sitting in their honeymoon stage, extended because they've been in a relationship for five years, and they're trying to hold on to whatever they have left in their relationship for the idea that they might be in love with each other. Now, also the brink that I want to tell you in this video is that a lot of the times you're going to hear things about finances. And my whole entire thing is I may or may not do a part two to this video on a separate channel where I will do an analysis on the whole entire court case. But today, I just wanted to get to the primary just conversation about this in general, where we can see the problems that's happening between the woman and the man. So, Pete. You are being a doormat. I'm letting you know. I'm looking you in the face because you brought this case here. But it's been no, five no. years. It's been five years. years. Is you're not losing the whole five I years. Am. You're gaining the next five years. You are gaining the but next But I want to have them with him. You I want to have the five years with him. I don't want to start all over again. That's too much. Right, I'm, right. It's too much. And you know what? Right what? You agree? Yes, I want to be with you, but then you know what? No, you know what? Around you either marry me or you reimburse me. It's that simple. I have the ring already. The funny thing about this is trying to force a man to marry you screams out desperation. Number one, you know my thing about it is with this woman, uh, Miss Thompson. I believe that. She has a whole entire concept of granders of illusion and as well as FOMO, fear of missing out. Thing about it is, is that she doesn't necessarily want to get married for the idea that she really loves this man. She wants to get married to this man in order to, for the glams and the glitz, obviously. And for the idea to say that she is married, she's worked hard in a relationship. Look, I got kids. They have a stepfather. And the thing about it is, is that he cares about me because he's man enough to be in a relationship with me and get married to me. She wants the title. She wants the label. You understand? Now, this man is, again, in his early 30s. You know, I don't know if he's very secure in his career and all this other stuff, because I know when it comes to a man, it's about resources. The woman, it's about the looks fading. You know, it's about being able to have that title, but it's a different perspective as things go on. So as we watch this video, it's going to be more surprising than the stuff that they're going to say and mention more, in which in my idea, this is a sinking ship that they're trying to hold on to. Just jump in the water. You <laughs> like chat. 
All you got to do is get on your knees and propose. Your Honor, she is not going to rob I'm me of my gonna... manhood That's and demand excuse. that I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to get a ring. I'm going to propose Tara, to her when the time one. is right. Take this one. I have not, I have not even take got to one. build a relationship with her family. In, In case no one... See, and this is where a lot of people will argue against a man and say that he's wrong. And in my idea, he has the right mindset. The thing about it is he wants things to be stable and comfortable before he agrees to get married to a woman like this. My thing about it is this. I don't know what it is with these new age of men. You know, in my opinion, I don't get it. You know, my whole entire argument about these new age of men is that they are cool with a woman proposing to them. I've seen that on many different occasions where, you know, the woman gets so desperate and she has so many fears and all these different things by public perception that she wants to be able to be the one and the aggressor and the initiator in the relationship to tell a man, I want to get married and she will get on her knees and ask the man to marry her. And my thing about it is I tell to men all the time, you cannot allow women to do that. I mean, I even did a video on this way back when I started on this YouTube journey. I have warned men, do not allow a woman to propose to you. I don't care how much money she has. I don't care what her status is. I don't care. My thing about it is to men, if you're choosing to marry that woman, it is your choice to tell that woman whether you do or you don't want to marry her. And you make the decision to get on your knees and propose to her. Shouldn't be the other way around. One else has figured this out. Y'all are not compatible. You are living in a fantasy world, baby. <laughs> in a fantasy world. <laughs> oh, your Honor, this I, is not your husband. Your Honor, I so he much time is in that very family. your it's boyfriend. Not fair. It's not fair. It may not be fair, but it's true. <laughs> baby, he what is about, not please? your like, husband. Please. <laughs> and you are not going to sit here on this room with me and cry over somebody that does not deserve your tears. Absolutely not. Are you saying you don't want me? I do want, I do want to marry you. Your Honor, Your Honor, I have, one, I have one more thing to say, and I did not want to bring this up. Now, he's going to tell you and reveal to you something that is definitely going to be a game changer for their relationship, and it has to deal with her getting surgery on something that he actually wants. We're talking about lineage here. But the thing about it is this, man. The funny thing about it is, it's the typical whole entire thing when you're dealing with the dynamics of a woman who's already older and, you know, she already has her children. So she's already been around the ballpark when it comes to dealing with a man and marriages, promises, and all these different things. And then she wants an impressionable man who's slightly younger, being able to be one of them dudes that just came out of the bachelor life and, you know, he's aspiring to be that husband. He's inspiring to be that father and all that other stuff. You understand? But, you know, funny thing about it is you cannot support chaos. You guys have to be stable. And too many times in this environment, when it comes to the relationship dynamics, everybody's in competition to be happy, even with each other. See, a lot of people don't want to make relationships fun and they don't want to make things new. They want to be able to be in a relationship just to say they are in a relationship. And that's what makes this dating climate so horrible because it's not like you really want to get to know that person. You know, and I understand a lot of people want to fall in love, quote unquote. A lot of people want to be able to have a fun relationship where, you know, it's all the the pretty little Disney tales you guys make out, go to these different places, travel and, you know, make love and all this other stuff. But the same time, a lot of people don't allow themselves to have the friendship factor into relationships where you guys can actually bond, get along with each other, not having stupid conversations like zodiac signs and, you know, what's your rising or, you know, what do you do and all this other stuff. Like a lot of people this time and age, this day and age, they don't they don't deal with that. They don't like to get to the reality of situations like that. They don't want to have friendships first and then let it blossom into a relationship already knowing the fact of the matter that you guys like each other but still but i went through her phone <laughs> don't they all yeah and all i saw her having a conversation with somebody and i find out she's been lying to me and she has her tubes tied 
Oh. You know, that you, you know I wanted to have a baby with you. You know I want to marry you. You've been lying to me. You've been leading me on this entire time. I was going to tell you about, I was, yes, they are. I was going to tell you, but they can be reversed. It's $10,000. I already have the doctor on speed dial. What's up? (laughs) What's up? I mean, my thing about it is this woman doesn't even seem to understand. Maybe she does get it. But the thing about it is she just thinks it's just this whole entire easy thing with just being like, okay, well, I can get them on. I can get my tubes untied. When you made that conscious decision to get your two ties in the first place, you've already let let the man know exactly where you're coming from. You don't want to have another kid. You don't. You don't want to deal with it. And it's based off of two things that I can infer from this situation. Number one, you've already been around this road before and you're an older woman. So you probably don't want to deal with the fact that you're going to be raising a kid for the next 18 years, judging the fact that that you are already in your 40s. So think about it, when a kid becomes 18, you're going to be in your 50s, if not your 60s, okay? And the thing about it is, also because you honestly are trying to hold that against him. See, when I think about it is, it's it's a very complex situation for me in understanding, right? Because number one, I don't really agree with looking through somebody's phone. I don't really believe in that. I believe in privacy. And, you know, at the same time, you may say, well, bronze, but you got to understand and da, 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 da. I don't really agree with that because my thing about it is if it comes to a relationship, both parties should be honest with each other. There's no reason for hiding things and just being like, oh, well, you know, I don't really want to tell them, especially when it comes to important information like this. If it's already been agreed in the relationship that you guys want to have a child together. But at the same time, information is information, right? So the man should know things like this when it comes to him aspiring himself to be a father. It's no reason why you should be holding that against him. But my thing about it is she thinks it's just easy to just go to a doctor and say, hey, you know what? I changed my mind. I want to get my tubes untied. The surgical procedures can actually get worse when you're a woman and you're older. And she doesn't seem to understand that. It's just because she's living in grandeurs of illusion. What's up? I have the doctor on speed. He can reverse those. He can reverse that. That's easy. So, Miss Thompson, to be honest with you, if you've been saying you wanted to have a baby and he found out X amount of months ago, how long how long had did you have that procedure? How long ago? 20 years ago. How many? Bomba. Oh my God. Or about it's reversible. Oh my God. But what she te- seems to forget is the damage is done. If it was 20 years ago, this is way before you met this man. Damn sure, probably before he was goddamn it born. Where you already knew that you wanted to be done with the whole entire thing of having children. So what made you change your mind? Because he's an impressionable man, right? And the thing about it is, is in your mind, he's probably better than the last man you dealt with. You leveled up on that relationship, quote unquote. But it's not even necessarily about that. It's because the fact of the matter, she doesn't have much time like she used to when she was in her 20s or, you know, what brothers say before she hit the wall. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's the same trick out the old book. But you've already made it clear when you was back, when it happened back then, you don't want to have kids. You don't want to have kids. You just want to be able to live your life. You already dealt with the damage and pain from the last relationship. You had PTSD from the last man you dealt with and you had kids with. Now, my thing about it is I don't know this woman, so I don't know whether the two kids is by the same man or it's from two different men. But regardless, when it comes to situations like this, it can even be inferred that if a woman is going to take it to this extreme, she definitely knew to hold this against a man and she let it serve as a way to be a PTSD thing, like I said, <laughs> and the next man she was going to stream along because he's impressionable. So he wouldn't have, she wouldn't, he wouldn't know as long as she doesn't say anything. And she was going to use her whole entire tactics of, you know, baby, don't worry about it and all these different things in order for him to forget about it or sweep it under the rug until the time becomes very hostile. And this is where it comes out to in a divorce court. Oh, oh, this is embarrassing, sir. 
No, you were grown. There man. was a moment that I only thought that you were the user in this room. I was wrong. You kind of both deserve each other because I have never seen the most dysfunctional people who lie to each other, who steal each other's dreams, who pretend that they are in love, but they have no respect for themselves or each other. The example that you are setting for your child is not one that I admire. And sir, pay for your own stuff. Well, easier said than done. This is a whole entire problem of relationship dynamics of this era in general. And I mean, it's not anything new, but really think about the situation. The man usually using economics as a way to say what his problem is in the relationship. And this woman being so eager to want to get married and destroy this man's dreams of getting her tubes tied, tied way before she met him. They're using each other. But the thing about it is, with both of them, they're trying to immerse themselves in this false idea that they really love each other because they're looking to stay with each other based off the fact and matter that, you know, I give you a little something, you give me a little something. It's the give and take relationship. Now, my thing about it is we do understand marriage is a business. Two entities, two souls coming together in order to create the union under the state. You understand? <laughs> if I think about it is with this young brother, I mean, I would just advise him, just focus on getting your money and you should be able to get a different woman. Now, my thing about it is it's a telltale sign and it's a different type of thing when this was an older woman that already got kids who are grown adults. In this video, they didn't even mention that our, one of her children is already 20 something years old. So... Again, this is a woman who already understands, number one, FOMO, fear of missing out. And number two, the reason why she probably got her tubes tied is because she already knew in the back of her head, regardless of any relationship that comes up after the man she dealt with in the past, she does not want to have children. That was her decision. And the thing about it is, is that both of them should have saved themselves the heartache. And, and in my honest opinion, just probably should have had sex for a while. The man should have just had sex with her. And went on his merry way. I don't think they deserved each other for a relationship. And again, I'm going to keep, you know, reiterating this to those who's paying attention. And for the people in the back. A lot of people in this age, in this, this time and age, want to be in relationships based off the idea for the uh, title. I don't believe that a good amount of people in this time and era actually really like each other. Okay. They want to be able to say that they have a man or they have a girlfriend and all this other stuff just for that. And I'm not saying that to everybody, but when you look at it, so many different things that go on social media, it's pretty much playing itself out. It's illustrating itself. That's, that's embarrassing. Are you gonna pay bro. me my money back? That's embarrassing. Are you gonna pay me my money back? You, you really gonna leave me? Out here doing this? Babe, you don't want no baby that's anyway. That's a deal breaker, man. How? How? You embarrassing me. How? How am I embarrassing you? Embarrassing you embarrassing me. Robert, in a million years. I mean, I'm a pretty good cross examiner, but I'd be darned. I've seen Spanish novellas with less drama. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll probably say, you know, Ronsberg, you don't know about marriage and stuff like that, but understanding these relationship dynamics, I didn't see it for a lot of, for what it's worth. I've seen a lot of men who could have saved themselves a lot of damage, <laughs> pretty much could have saved themselves from a lot of these relationships, man. And to that man who was in the call with that woman, I advise him to leave uh, the relationship fast and start looking for a partner who actually wants the things that he wants. If he wants to be a father, he needs to look for a woman who wants to have his baby, you know, uh, especially when you get a woman who already got kids more than likely she doesn't really want to have kids again you know what i'm saying she's been around that that she's been around that way you know what i mean she's been around the block you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like you know it's a losing battle you know what i mean but i would tell the young brother 
don't focus on that, man. Get a woman who doesn't who um doesn't really have kids, but wants to have kids. And you know, I would advise, like I said, just get out of that relationship. Just leave. <laughs> Cause it ain't gonna help you. You know what I mean? And then for the woman, you know, she's sitting up there saying, Oh, so you gonna leave me reimburse my money? If you loan money to that woman, I would say pay her back. That's it, and that's all. There's no debating that you have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because you took it upon yourself to go ahead and ask her for it. And just because she loves you doesn't mean she still doesn't understand, like, yo, this is my money. You know what I'm saying? So give me your thoughts in the comment section. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Peace.